Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a little circuit that I put together, and that's actually part of my another project of my super head receiver. Since that receiver is varactor tuned, I need a stable uh, voltage source, and I'm gonna. What you see right now is a low dropout linear regulator, and as a the circuit works really well. I actually took the circuit from an uh, EV blog forum. Link to the topic you can find in the description. And the schematic for it uh, uh, in the stock version looks like this. As you can see, not so many parts. A diff amp here, pass transistor here, pretty much it. That's it. Nothing else. You can, instead of this bodginess 5.6 volt zener and silicon diet here, you can use just a 6.2 volt zener. I just didn't have the, those on hand, so I just used uh, such configuration and it works just fine. Not really aesthetically pleasing, but works excellent. And let me show you how the circuit performs. And I actually made a little modification to it to make it perform even better, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But first, let's gonna see how the circuit performs. This meter displays the output voltage. Output is loaded by this 470 ohm resistor. It's necessary for the circuit to get some load, otherwise it won't function properly. Let's anyway, let's apply 12 volts here, and we see 11.46. Now let's jump the voltage to 15 volts, or thereabouts. You can see output voltage already changed by like 40 or 50. 40 or 30 millivolts and you can see if I'm going to increase it to 24 volts there is 11.55 and the output voltage remains kind of stable it doesn't droop much until I hit here we go you can see it droops and it holds steady 11.9 so that's you can see just 0.6 about volts dropout that's a low dropout regulator but you can see that that's 12 volts 11.44 and 24 11.54 so that's 10 that's 100 millivolts worth of difference now i'm gonna do a little modification here and i'm gonna show you how the circuit performs with that little modification okay i modified the circuit as you can see one transistor appeared. Uh, and let's see the performance, shall we? So 24.4 volts input, 11.48, right? Twelve volts input, eleven point forty six or forty five. See, twelve volts. This meter actually displays hundred millivolts less than they already than there really is, so take that into account, so that's 12 volts, 11.45, and it holds the voltage steady, kind of, here it droops, 11.7 volts, which is pretty nice, and you can see, I'm gonna put 12 volts here, there we go, 12 volts, 11.44, I'm gonna put 16 volts, 11.45, as you can see, 4 volts difference here, just 10 millivolts difference there. And what I did is I just went and replaced this resistor with a current source. You can use current source like this, no problem. This zener, by the way, is 3.9 volts. 4.7k emitter resistor, it's just a resistor to limit current through a zener. And you actually have to choose that resistor not only to pass some current through a zener in order to make a proper voltage drop across it, but this resistor will actually have to pass enough of a base current for this transistor to pass enough of a current that you wish here, since this transistor has a beta, let's say, like 100, all right? And I want to say 600 microamps here. So I can use 100 times less for the base current which is essentially a 6 micrograms, which is very, very small current. So 22, 22k resistor is perfectly fine here. And this plus plus is actually connected here. This point with this zener up this point. See, it's connected right here. 
So essentially, seek it from this to this is a current source, which you can put in instead of this resistor and make the circuit work much better without usage of a single integrated circuit. And that's my goal for the my super head receiver. Make it without usage of any single integrated part. Oh, sorry. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See ya.